The walls that you see behind me belong to New Barnsley PSNI barracks. Its thick exterior looming large over nearby homes is designed to withstand significant blasts and its lookout posts peering constantly and suspiciously over the local community are fortified with ballistic glass and bomb-proof brickwork. Decorated with high-powered cameras, communication towers and other spying equipment, it watches carefully as neighbours call the neighbours' homes or stop at nearby shops. Hidden behind its defences are rows of armoured military-type vehicles designed to withstand small arms and machine gun fire. These are the vehicles that creep through our neighbourhoods in the dark of night and in the early morning, putting doors up halls and pulling families' homes apart. The gunmen that ride in those jeeps are all armed with Glock 9mm handguns and often carry Heckler & Koch G36 machine guns. The same machine guns that were deployed in Kosovo, Afghanistan, Iraq and Syria because they can pump out over 750 rounds per minute and they give them to the so-called police force. This is all paid for with a yearly budget top on 1.1 billion British pounds over two million of which went straight into the pockets of informers in recent years. Across the occupied six counties in Ireland, a small area of just 5,000 square miles, there were almost 80 of these heavily fortified military installations, complemented with additional British army bases and personnel. So remember, the next time you see the PSNI trundling along your road on bicycles with the pretend smells and follow ups, look past them and remember the thick walls that stand behind me because this isn't a police station, this is what an occupation looks like.